All right. All right, so I got most of my electronics in. I'm almost ready to run it. I think uh, I'm charging up the LiPo right now, and uh, I just got to drill the boom tube holders, uh, and then I'll be ready to run it. Uh, so I went with the Dynamite 120. Sorry, I drilled my finger too this morning. Uh, so I went with the Dynamite 120 ESC, and then when lent with also the Leopard 2860 uh, motor <clears throat> and then this is 4 mil call it 2.150 for my flex cable because I am using uh, the Teflon liner in there as well uh, so when I run my ESC I run the oh I did uh, plug the uh, water outlet here so they just usually have a hole here that the tubing goes in. I like to use the water fitting, so you can use brass tubing or I had an extra fitting. So I ended up cutting a dowel rod plug, <clears throat> sealing it in there, and then re-drilling for it to fit this water fitting uh, so that it's nice and clean. So I run my water from the rudder to the ESC, and then around the ESC it goes to the bottom of the motor. And uh, I'll probably have to maybe move this uh, outlet for the water on top so that when it fills up the water, it fills up the whole motor. Because right now I might just only fill up <clears throat> half of it and cool only half the motor. Uh, so I might want, need to change that. And then the water outlet goes to the fitting. So uh, when you're racing, you usually race in an oval um, this direction, which would be clockwise. So you want to be able to see or make sure water is coming out as you're driving. So I put the water fitting on this side right here. Uh, so I did that and then um, to drill to drill my uh, turn fin, the holders, let's see if I can find the thing. Here it is. Uh, I go to the center of the dowel rods and make a little punch. So I punch the center of the dowel rods here, punch them, then I start drilling. I drill halfway through until I get through uh, half the sponson. Then I flip it over and then drill to the pilot hole. So I use a small bit at first and then connect them. So once you connect them, you know it's uh, straight in the center here, then straight here. Uh, that way, uh, if you drill all the way through here, it might be crooked. You don't if you don't use hold the drill straight. So I like to do a little bit, drill a little on this side, then drill on that side to make sure everything's okay. Uh, what else? Oh, my flex cable. So I got the motor in there with the collet. I did have to cut this back a little bit. It was a little long, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I just used a Dremel. So <clears throat> how I do my flex cables, you can see here I've got a little bit of solder. So I put some flux on here. So I mark it. Basically, uh, when you put uh, your shaft in or your drive cable, flex cable, uh, it's going to probably be out to here or whatever, so I think I took off around maybe two inches uh, of this cable to make it work. So you take this measurement right here, which say it's two inches, and then you leave a little gap, maybe eighth inch or a uh, little more, to uh, basically you want to use the width of the, the, or as a guide, use the width of the flex cable you're using as the gap uh, between the drive dog here and the strut because it's going to contract while it's running and you'll snap shafts and things so that's not good so I take that measurement here and then I flip it over make a mark whatever that measurement was and then uh, I take flux wrap it around here and then uh, solder it so I get a nice solder so you can see it makes uh, the cable hole and then I cut it so once I cut it with the Dremel cut off wheel and then I also hold it at a 45 to give it a nice bevel so that when it's you insert it into the collet it's not catching on the sharp edges so uh, I'll just have to grease that before I run it so uh, it goes in nice and easy see so I'm gonna start with the stock prop and then I got some others to test uh, so I did glue in you can also see the uh, rudder servo so I glued it in I'll show you a quick video of it working. And everything is nice and at 90, so I use the second hold down on this, the server arm. I use this uh, uh, linkage arm that I had, 
and then uh, I cut this to length. <clears throat> so make sure you use Loctite on all metal to metal set screws like here. Uh, go through your rudder, there's one here, and then you don't want to lose your rudder pin. So there's one back here. So Loctite all that, Loctite this, drive dog set screw, Loctite, your motors, even though they have a little uh, crimp, uh, what do you call it, lock washer, they have those, I still even uh, Loctite that. And then even on your collet here, it's got two, so make sure you Loctite those. You don't want it coming out or vibrating loose. Then to run my ESC, I usually do need an extension since I always run my ESCs up here. I do need an extension, so here you can see the extension's uh, 12 inches. So uh, to keep these wires nice, I do use scotch tape, so I like to use clear tape uh, to hold it to the sides here. And uh, I got the LiPo charging right now. I'll put this maybe here or here, wherever it fits, and tidy, tidy up the wires with lock tie, or zip ties. So I do zip tie all my waterline fittings. I need to do one here just so that it doesn't pop off and fill up the boat. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go hopefully uh, finish those last couple things. i got to drill the boom tubes. Uh, oh, yeah, when you do the boom tube, drill the boom tubes, uh, when you get it on here, make sure you got got even, even distance. You want this distance to this tub even, this is even, this is even the same as these numbers uh, that you get on this side. So you want this side parallel, but on the turn fin side, to kind of counteract the turn fin, I always do toe in. So what that means is this will be the same length here, 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 but then this is short by like, uh, I'll do maybe like, uh, two to three millimeters or like a sixteenth to eighth inch so I tune that when running so I do about a, a two to three millimeters uh, toe in and then I adjust with the boom tube collars to get it tracking straight so uh, you don't want too much so if, if you're really pulling uh, adjust your turn fin so it's always a game once you get it running trying to tune the boat as best as possible so your fin up uh, if your fin needs to go up, angle up so it's loose or down, tightens it. The back, I mean. So move the the back forward, loosens the boat. Moving this back backwards, tightens the boat. So uh, it's always a game. So make sure you're not having too much drag. You could probably always uh, come. This one comes sharpen on the 33 FVs. They don't sharpen. So they don't come sharpen. So you got to sharpen your own. So if you're really pulling, try sharpening the turn fin a little bit more. And uh, so I think that's about it. So let me drill these boom tube holders and uh, put my lipo pack in there and I'm going to go test it. So let me go get some video of it running. Okay. Make sure there's no fucking gators. No. Mm, it's 
Someone floats, I think. Pretty cool. That even stayed. <laughs> you like that? I'll have to, I'll have to make something to hold those. 